one person in particular commented on that video saying, this brings me anxiety. <laughs> I was like, oh no, that is not what I want. When I see this, I'm just like, Wow, all the times that I have gone to these parts in my Bible and I have prayed over them, it just brings me lots of joy. Hello everyone and welcome to this video. I'm assuming that you clicked on it because you were wondering what a prayer Bible was and why does it seem to be popping up on your news feed? Well, you're in luck because I'm here to tell you why I chose to make a prayer Bible instead of a journal or a board or just keep it in my regular Bible that I have for everything else that I use. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to give you four W's is what I like to call it as to why I made one. My first W is who who gave me the idea to start one and that came from my mother-in-law's sister who wanted to get all of the ladies together in our family to just get together and catch up get to know each other because some of them i have never met personally and i'm super glad that she came up with this idea because during that time she wanted to do a craft you know kind of keep everybody busy if you didn't want to do it that's fine if you did like me then this is perfect so she sent us a video to another youtuber the sister rita's club on making a prayer bible and i was like this just for some reason like there was like a light bulb moment you know and uh, i was like yes this is for me my second w is what what is a prayer bible it's a place where i can keep all of my prayers for everything in one spot for certain topics in my life that resonate with me and other people in my life i'm not going to a prayer journal and trying to flip through different pages and find it it's not super big i am not having to just sit in a spot or a room with a board in front of me like the prayer boards that i've seen i need something that fits my lifestyle and this is it i need something that i can take with me to uh, the mcdonald's play place i need something that is small and that's one of the good things about this third w is where do i use it and i use it everywhere like i said for the what i like to take it with me a lot of places just because i never know when i'm going to use it and i would rather have it with me and not use it than be at walmart parking lot thinking of something and then all of a sudden be like shoot i left it at home on my desk or wherever i would have left it my fourth reason is why and i feel like i've kind of touched on this with the other three w's why i like it really it's because it fits how i like to use it where i like to use it and what it means to me so how I like to use it, I like to take it everywhere. What I like to use it for is to keep everything in one place. I don't have sticky notes here, a board in my house, or three different journals for all my different topics and people in one area. If you do use those, that is excellent. If it works for you, that is what this is all about. It's not about doing what others do. It's about how you're going to use it and what makes the most sense for you. Now for making a prayer Bible, why or how did I get it to look like this 
that is a completely separate video. I have a printable guide for you uh, linked in the descriptions to that video on a step-by-step -step guide on making one of these. Maybe you're a journaler. Maybe, maybe you just like to write or you're not somebody who's going to take a Bible around with you. Perfectly fine. Don't do this then. Okay, I don't want you to spend your time, which is very precious, your very precious time or your money, if you do put money into it on something that just isn't suited for your lifestyle. One person in particular commented on that video saying, this brings me anxiety. <laughs> I was like, oh no, that is not what I want. So if you are a person that would look at that and be like, I can't do this. This is not for me. Do not make this. But if you are somebody who is like me, that if you like to have it all in one place and uh, you like to take it on the go with you, or you feel like this is a season of life that you are in where uh, this is just hitting hit and home run for you. If that's what I want to say, I don't know, but I feel like you know what I'm saying. Then this is something for you. I have a little bonus tip snippet, whatever you want to call it for you example, but I wanted to give you a little glimpse into how I personally use this in my prayer life. There are two ways you could essentially use this prayer Bible. One, you could just use it to mark all of your favorite verses in. So say you've got 10 favorite verses that you like to go back and try and memorize or whatever. You can mark them down in here with a different color tab, washi tape, however you want. The second way though, is how I like to use it. So we're just gonna go through an example of how I would use it for praying for my boys. I have five boys, 10 and under, and uh, I'm just gonna go to the very first tab that I have, and I'm pretty sure it's Joshua 1.9. It is. <laughs> be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And then I would just kind of keep repeating that verse through my or in my mind out loud. And then I would just let the Holy Spirit take it wherever it needs to go. Um, my boys will be strong and courageous. They will not be afraid of anything that they do. No discouragement will come across their mind for they will know that their Lord, you father will be with them wherever they go. And that actually felt really good saying that. So I would just move on to my next tab. So next one is in Psalm 34. 13. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. My boys will not have the tongue of an evil person and their lips will not be known to tell lies. They will turn from evil when they see or hear it and only do what they know is right in your sight. They will seek and search after peace and only pursue that. I mean, that's, I mean, I'm just letting you know that is coming straight from here. Um, I do not have any other prayers written on him. So I'm going to go to one that is for my boys, but also for their future wives. So Proverbs 31 10, my boys' wives are worth far more than rubies and they will have full confidence in them and lack nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects flax, 
wool and flax and works eagerly with her hands. So when I'm trying to condense it down, I will go to uh, this sticky note and I will say she has wisdom. She is kind with her touch and loving to everyone around her. Gentleness is upon her hands. She only brings peace and not harm. She is pure at heart blessed by you, fruitful in all the things she does, humble, but also fears the Lord and productive. I mean, I just read through all of those, but that's on verse 31. That is just a little bit of how I use this for my prayer life. Now, if you have any questions on anything, leave it in the comments for me on this video or the next video and i hope to see you back here soon for more videos that we drop or for more prayer bible guide videos that i've got rolling around up in my brain